What's good YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul and welcome to a brand new video. Today, Logic Pro has been updated to 10.8. So let's talk about everything that's new so the next time you open Logic, you know what to look for. So off the bat, one of the biggest additions to 10.8 is Mastering Assistant. You can find it on your stereo out track. We're gonna go ahead and click Mastering right over here. The assistant will analyze your session and just like that, it mastered our entire track. <laughs> So not only does it master your track and just make it louder, it adds in some effects as well. You can basically think that Mastering Assistant is your personal mastering engineer that will fine tune your sound through frequency balance corrections, dynamic adjustments, timber enhancements, and width. You also get four mastering signal modes that are each providing its own character to the master. Personally, I like the transparent mode, but we'll dive deeper into this plugin in a separate video. The next addition to Logic Pro 10.8, I'm gonna go ahead and create a new software instrument track, is a plugin that I'm super excited is finally on the desktop version. If you use Logic Pro for iPad, you know what this is all about. Before we get into that, I just wanna show you the new sort of presentation on how to create tracks. It's definitely a more unified experience over the old one. Sort of took away all of the redundancies, just cleaner, thought I'd point that out. So we're gonna create a new software instrument track here, and we're gonna bring in that new instrument, Logic's Sample Alchemy. This one is my personal favorite from Logic Pro for iPad, and it's finally on desktop. This thing's crazy. Sample Alchemy allows you to completely transform any one-shot sample or loop using three types of synthesis, granular, additive, or spectral, and we can add multiple instances of each. So here's a granular synthesis. We're just gonna lower the playback speed here. Let's increase or decrease the size. Increase the pan. And we're already changing up that one-shot sample. Next, let's bring in another type of synthesis. We'll go to additive. And you can see as you add in different types of synthesis, you can completely transform your sound. You also have different playback modes here, like loop, scrub. You also have bow, sort of like a stringed instrument. So this plugin I'm sure is gonna be on your list of favorites. You're gonna use it a lot with one-shot samples and loops. Really, really a special one. Next up, we got a brand new effects plugin called Beat Breaker. It is your go-to pitch, time, and volume shaping plugin. It's basically a toolkit of so many effects that you can apply to your sounds. Here are just a few. So on this vocal right here, I'm gonna quickly bring in a sidechain pumping effect. You can use this plugin for something as simple as this. Three trap producers out there, this plugin has halftime. So let's go ahead and just add in some halftime to our vocals. That's gonna be my personal favorite for this plugin, but you can also apply really transitional effects as well. So that's just a super quick overview of what Beat Breaker is all about. A time, pitch, and volume shaper plugin. Great thing to have in your toolkit as a producer. Logic Pro 10.8 also features new tools. You got a slip tool and a rotate tool. Slip tool allows you to move audio or MIDI without actually moving the region itself. Now the difference between slip and rotate tool is as you push things to the right or left, it's gonna loop it back into it for rotate tool. So let's go ahead and use the rotate tool on MIDI. You'll see as I push this over, it's gonna push what's happening at the back end to the top end. The next feature update is a biggie. You can now record 32-bit float with the appropriate audio gear. And lastly, with the new update, brings two new sound packs, hybrid textures, and Vox Melodics. So that's everything new in Logic Pro 10.8. If you do want to talk about any of the updates, we can talk in the comment section below. Ventura or above is required to run 10.8. So if you're running anything before Ventura, you got to update to get the 10.8. That's it. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one. Later. Peace.